All right, so uh, in this video, I'm going to explain the lighting setup for this second film noir photo I posted recently. It looks like this. And uh, in the photo, you can see I use uh, some blinds to kind of create like a, a moody film noir sort of window look. Um, but really, it was just done in a very simple, you know, blind setup. I didn't even have to go outside, I didn't have to put any lighting outside, which was very helpful. Um, and especially because it was cold out and uh, I didn't want to go outside. Plus, I have neighbors and stuff like that. I don't want to put things outside. Um, okay, so just starting from the beginning, for our first light, we have an FJ200. And on the front of it is a Fresnel head focused in. And on the front of that is an orange gel. Now you might be wondering with a black and white, why bother with a gel? But it comes in handy later because on the, one of the other lights I use a blue gel to kind of counter it. So it gives you just different options when you go into post so you can play with the different shading and colors. And even though it's a black and white final image, you can still manipulate certain shadow and highlight areas. So there's an orange gel kind of mimicking a sodium vapor light outside, like a, a, a post light or something like that. And then, like I mentioned, just some blinds to create that window look. Obviously I have a real window right there with blinds, but this way I had better control of it and again, wasn't fighting against any kind of elements or uh, nature or anything like that. And then moving here, once again, using an FJ400 as my background light. This time I have a grid on it and it's just pointing at the backdrop. There's no Kugeloris or uh, any kind of pattern on it. It's just a regular backlight on the background, once again, a gray Annie Lux backdrop from background town. Okay, so then our third light here is our hair light. Uh, this is a FJ200. And as I mentioned before with gels, this is gelled with a blue gel, and that just helps, again, have different options in post-production where I could manipulate the shadows and highlights based on colors instead of just light and dark. So all in all, it's pretty simple setup. One key light, a background light, and a hair light just to separate me from the background. And that again looks like this image. So very simple, quick, easy setup. Um, it does require three lights, but when I first started doing it, I just had the main light and that was it and then everything else just fell to black. You could do it that way. It definitely gives it a more dramatic look. I wanted to kind of break up the background a little bit and make it seem like there's some depth to it, even though it's a smaller room. So that's where I added the second light and then just to, again, break me from the background a little bit, I added that hair light. But again, you don't need that necessarily. So uh, pretty simple setup, pretty effective I think. And uh, hopefully if you like that, you'll stick around and want to see more. There's part one if you haven't seen that one already. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm hoping to do more in 2024. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Thanks.